According to atheism, everything started with a Big Bang. The gases that spread to the endless space formed billions of galaxies and billions of planets within those galaxies. All of those planets settled in the most appropriate orbits and formed their own systems. In one of those systems, this planet called the world in which we live formed. The world settled at an exact distance to the sun and in an orbit which made it possible for living beings to live, seasons to form, and many other events to take place. The atmosphere formed an invisible shield against dangers coming from the space. Then, the world, which was in the form of a hot ball, met water somehow. Do not forget that the clouds that form as a result of volcanic eruptions do not bring about water, but acid. Hundreds of thousands of plants grew without any seeds in accordance with the climate of their regions exactly. Rivers and streams had fresh water, but the seas that they flowed into had salty water. All of a sudden, living beings that could move formed coincidentally. Yes, all of a sudden, hundreds of thousands of species of living beings formed in the air, on land, and in water, out of a cell that formed coincidentally and that had no eyes, ears, heart, or mind. Those living beings found their vital needs ready in the places where they formed. Hundreds of incidents like that happened one after another. They all formed after a Big Bang, which had to be destructive, brought about a system coincidentally. When we ask the question, how did this universe, this regular system, and those living beings that are more beautiful and perfect than one another form, we are given the explanation above as scientific truth. That is, everything consists of a chain of coincidences, including you. This tremendous structure is only a coincidence. You may accept this view, which is believed by a group of people. Or, you may accept the view of the people who argue that so many coincidences cannot take place one after another that they are all created and controlled by a creator that has endless knowledge, power, and will, and that nothing can form on their own. What we want you to do is to watch this film without any prejudice and form an objective point of view and then prefer either of the views. Do not forget that our preferences determine our lives. Construction, the coming together of matter and elements to form a structure. When many elements and matter come together, they form the existence and meet in one body. This can also be called a makeup or constitution. 
These structures balance is a huge proof of the existence of God Almighty. Let us imagine that a pharmacy holds hundreds of jars filled with various substances. We were asked to make a paste and medicine by using the ingredients in the jar. We arrive at the pharmacy and see that there are now hundreds of the same medicines and paste on the display shelf. We examine the paste and medicines and see that in each of these jars, a particular amount of each substance was used. Like one or two milligrams of this, four or five milligrams of that, or six to seven milligrams from this, etc. If one milligram more or one milligram less of a substance is mixed, then the medicine could easily turn into a poison. Is it in any way possible or probable that if the jars were to have been knocked over by a strange coincidence or a gusty wind and that only precise, though different, amounts of these substances that had been taken were to drip from the jars, split, and then come together to form this paste and medicine? If the entire world unites, will they be able to convince us that the medicine and paste have formed by a coincidence? If hundreds of samples of this medicine and paste are found, will they be able to induce us into believing that this is merely a result of coincidence? Is there any bigger fallacious superstition than this belief? Similarly, every life form can be likened to a paste. And every plant can be likened to a medicine, since they are formed from several diverse substances in precise amounts. For instance, let us look solely at a person. There are about 60 elements in our bodies. Our bodies contain specific amounts of iron, magnesium, chromium, and other such elements. A cause for disease develops when there is too much or too little of these elements in our bodies. For example, Copper has a blood-producing characteristic. When there is too little of it, an outbreak of disease could occur. Manganese operates the functions of the brain, and a lack of it causes behavioral deformities. The duty of cadmium is to regulate blood pressure and to ensure it to operate smoothly. However, too much or too little of it can cause disturbances in blood pressure to appear. The accumulation of elements in any part of the body produces hormonal deficiencies. Just like the human body has a balance that is immensely precise, the other life forms, which are plants and animals, also possess the same kind of balance in their forms. While we refer those who want to learn more about this balance to a science book, we also ask the following question. While the simplest of medicines cannot form coincidentally, is it possible for the human body or the body of another life form, which is balanced to such an extent, to develop by mere chance. Even if the entire world was to come together to convince us that an aspirin accidentally formed as a result of a glass jar filled with medicine having tipped over, we still would not be persuaded.
then how are we convinced that the human form, which is millions of times more advanced and more sensitive, formed as a result of some coincidence? Can a person who believes in such a wrong thought be called clever? Let alone being called clever, can he be called a human being? Besides, our body is not like a drug that was constructed once and then put aside. The total weight of the cells that die in our intestines in a year is 90 kilograms. The total weight of dead skin cells is 45 kilograms too. 200 billion red blood cells die every day in our body and 10,000 red blood cells are created every second. Our body is a wonderful composition that is completely renewed every six months. Is it possible for that composition to form coincidentally? And when there are about 7 billion people of that composition in the world today, how can one believe that they form coincidentally?